This video is going to demonstrate the proper installation of a Climax Series C200 locking assembly. Uh, note that all Climax locking assemblies are immersed in oil at the factory and are wrapped in VCI paper which prevents oxidation both in transit and in storage. They are to be installed on either a clean shaft or a lightly oiled shaft and it's imperative that it's ordinary petroleum oil, not synthetics or with any additives or uh, most importantly not with any anti-seize compounds because these uh, all contain molybdenum disulfide which is uh, an extreme pressure lubricant and they will most certainly adversely affect the torque capacity of the locking assembly. Okay. Prior to installing, uh, take a look at the locking assembly and make sure that the front and rear thrust collars are parallel with each other and that all of the screws are loose. Okay. Placing the locking assembly into the hub bore, you will note that there are three either silver or gold screws and what they denote is are not jacking holes but behind these screws are threaded holes which are one size larger than the locking screws themselves which can be used with either long screws or threaded rod of one size larger to place these locking assemblies and extract them from very deep bores otherwise the screws the plated screws are going to be treated like any other okay once the locking assembly is in the hub bore finger tighten all the screws and at this point, I am going to select a particular screw as a starting point, and I'm going to begin to take 90 degree or quarter turn passes as each of the screws sequentially, going either clockwise or counterclockwise. After taking several passes with my hand wrench, at that point I'm going to switch over to the torque wrench which has been preset to 105% of the specified tightening torque, which can be found in our catalog, on the Climax Metal website, on the label on the box, and on the installation instructions. So with the wrench set to 105% of the specified tightening torque, I am going to pick up where I left off, and I'm going to begin making passes at these screws until such point, and I'm there, that the wrench is clicking, indicating that I'm at 105% of the specified tightening torque. At that point, I am going to make two more complete revolutions around the locking assembly, hitting each screw twice at the 105% over torque. Okay, after making my two passes at 105%, I'm then going to take the torque wrench and I am going to set it down to the specified tightening torque. At that point, I am going to check the torque on each and every screw, working my way around and making ensuring that every screw is at the specified tightening torque. In the event that I get any movement out of the screws, what we need to do at that point is to go back up to the 105%, make one or two more passes, once again set it down to the specified tightening torque and check that they're all there. At that point the locking assembly is fully installed, there's no reason to go back and have to check the torque uh, at any future time. If you have any questions or problems with removing any Climax KLD, contact our KLD application engineers who will be more than happy to assist with the tips and tricks of removing these units.